What's up YouTube? You're inside the edge and I'm back with another video. I'm excited to make this video. Um, I actually have some breaking news. It's looking like Joel Embiid won league MVP. I just got the notification like right now, excuse me, right when I was about to start this video. So I just, I guess I had to, you know, mention that to start off this video. But um, what do you know, Joel Embiid, man, they gave it to him. They finally gave it to him. But today we're going to talk about the New England Patriots. Um, this is day two. I'm going to be doing a lot of videos on all the draft picks we've drafted. Um, yesterday I, I talked about Malik Cunningham. Well, he was a restricted free agent, but um, I think he's a good. He was a good pickup for New England. We're guaranteeing him like two hundred thousand dollars. So this guy, he's most likely going to make the roster. But today we're going to talk about Demario Douglas, um, a potential player that can make this New England roster. Um, you know, this is a guy that I'm actually excited about. This was, he's probably my favorite player that we picked, um, just because of me just watching the film and, and just seeing what he could do on the field. I mean, this guy is incredible. You know, this guy is incredible. When you look at the things he can do on the field, how he can make guys miss, um, the way he can just turn up the field and, and, um, man, this guy, he's a very, very special talent. So, um, you know, a lot of people would compare him to, um, you know, Tyreek Hill, um, if you ask me, I would compare Demario Douglas to Marcus Jones that actually plays for New England because they're both the same stature. They're both listed at 5'8", um, you know, 170 pounds for Douglas. And I think Marcus Jones is like 170-something. So, I mean, they're both similar players. Um, and I think what's so impressive about Douglas is, I mean, this guy ran a 4.44 on his 40-yard dash. I mean, this guy is lightning fast. And I believe, you know, he's going to, he could, you know, impact, you know, New England because of, you know, looking, I don't have the numbers in front of me, but I know New England, we're, we were like dead last in explosive plays. You know, we were dead last in, in a, a lot of categories on offense last year. And I think DeMarco Douglas can bring, um, you know, his electric speed into this offense in the slot. I think he can really um, make things happen for New England. Um, if I had to say a, a scenario on, on where, like where he best fits, I mean, because of his speed, because he could be so quick off the, the line of scrimmage, I know I can see him being on third and four. I can see him being on short yardage plays when we need a, a quick pass play. Um, that's where I can kind of see how he can, you know, be kind of the glue onto this team. Um, but looking at what he did at Liberty last year, he caught 79 passes for 993 yards. And um, guys, I mean, he made, he, he created 20 missed tackles last year. So um, like I mentioned before, I might have to put that clip where he, I, I seen this clip where he juke three defenders at the same time, but he hit them off with the same move, the same cutback, boom, 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 three straight defenders. I was like, wow, this guy's footwork, his technique, like he has it down packed. Um, and then a lot of people will compare him to Zay Flowers. Um, I know they, they kind of did workouts. I know New England worked out with Zay Flowers and um, Douglas and... Um, and Patriots knew Zay Flowers, if he was gone at whatever round he would be gone at, they was like, okay, we, we got something in DeMario, DeMario Douglas. And um, again, guys, I think he can really be an explosive player for New England. Um, I don't see him being an outside threat, um, but it doesn't matter because we, we have Devontae Parker, we have Kendrick Bourne, and I feel like I'm kind of jumping everywhere. But even for people that was upset about you know New England not jumping up to get a receiver, Let's not forget, guys, Tyquan Thornton, you know, he was a second-round draft pick last year, and a lot of us still don't know if he's if he's good or is he trash. He's still a work in progress, so we, we really don't know um, as far as Tyquan Thornton on, on how good he's really going to be. So I'm kind of glad that New England, you know, we did we weren't too aggressive at getting a whole bunch of receivers because I know a lot of New England fans was like, we need receivers, we need receivers, we need to be drafting receivers, but... Um, I, th I think, you know, we have to, you know, Tyquan Thornton, that's, that's one guy I feel like can, um, you know, he has some promise and, um, you know, if he didn't um, injure himself, um, I think he would have um, made a bigger impact in New England last year. But, um, but DeMarco Douglas, guys, I mean, like I, I mentioned before, I mean, this guy's explosive. Um, you know, he's a guy that can, you know, we can use for, for short yardage. Um, because let's just say if, if we're doing a run plan, it's predictable. Let's hit, let's hit wherever we're playing. Let's hit him with a play action. You know, let, let's get this guy some reps. So um, if you if you ask me, I mean, I think it was a really good pickup. I don't know if I could really, I don't know if I have a grade for us drafting DeMarco Douglas, but um, I'll give a B plus as far as talent. I think they found a really good guy um, that can, um, you know, that can replicate what Tyreek Hill does on the football field and all those among, you know, the speedsters in the NFL right now. Um, but I, I definitely think that DeMarco Douglas could bring a lot to the table and, 
Um, as far as, you know, his catching ability, um, like I said, he's not a guy that's going to leap over a defender. Um, he's not like a post route type of receiver. Like I said, he's more of a slot. He's going to play inside. Um, and I think I have the numbers in front of me as far as his catch rating in college. It was His catch rating was at a 46.7. So, I mean, that's... That's that's solid, I would say. Not the best, but it's solid. And, um, you know, outside of that, guys, I mean, I think he can really be a, a, a dual threat for this uh, for this Patriots team. You know, we can use him in so many different ways. And another thing about him is we can also use him in the special teams. Even though I think, like, the guy I just mentioned, Marcus Jones, even though Marcus Jones, you know, he is a front runner to be our punt returner and our kick returner, um, you know, moving forward. But... I would still put DeMarco Douglas maybe at punt return and allow Marcus Jones to just be a, a defensive player. Um, so, you know, we can use DeMarco Douglas for, you know, as a punt returner and we can use him for the slot. Um, Booty, uh, I, I believe I said his name right. I, um, I, I will do a video on him most likely tomorrow. But I think Douglas has a better shot to make this roster than Boutte just because DeMarco Douglas is someone we can truly use at slot. And, um, you know, I think he can really be, be a huge impact for New England. But as far as his weaknesses, um, like I mentioned, him being at 5'8", 175, um, you know, as far as his stature, I mean, I'm, it's, it's going to be maybe challenging when, you know, if it's tight coverage. I know maybe a lot of defenders, middle linebackers can knock the ball out of his hand. You know, it can be a lot of disrupted passes in between. You know, playing that slot position is really dangerous and you're playing in the inside. So um, I think that's something that, you know that that's gonna be, um, you know, something that that has to figure out on his own. You know, um, you know his ability to just absorb hits, take hits. But for the most part, guys, he really takes care of his body. You know, like I said, he's really quick. You know, he's he's that guy that you know if you throw a bubble screen, you know, he's not gonna you know put himself in harm's way. You know, he's gonna get that yardage and he's gonna run out of bounds. You know, he's gonna get that sideline you know, rescue. I like to call it the sideline rescue, but that's the type of player he is. You know, he's not a guy that I don't, you know, I, I think he's real good at protecting himself. Um, you know, and he's a smart player, guys. And like I said, for the most part, I don't really see him being a deep threat type of receiver doing like wheel routes and, and you know, turning up the field, but I can definitely see him on, you know, slant passes. And I, and to be honest, I mean, once he catches the ball, he can do a lot of things after the catch. And I think that's probably the most impressive thing I could really say about him. You know, just yards after the catch. His ability of what he can do after the catch. I mean, this guy can make guys move, like I mentioned. I mean, this guy had, you know, in college, man, his years, he had dudes dancing. He had dudes on their knees trying to tackle him. So I think he's a really special talent. And um, as far as will he be able, will he touch the field this year? Um... It, it, it's all about his hard work ethic, you know, if he can just, you know, come into min, mini camp and really learn and, um, you know, do what he has to do. I, I really think he can really make an impact on his team, but he has to prove it to Bill O'Brien. You know, he has to prove it to Bill Belichick, because like I said, we kind of, you know, we have we have players, man. We have guys, Kendrick Bourne, Devontae Parker, Taquan Thornton. Um, you know, these, these guys are, are trying to, you know, have a better season than they did last year. So hopefully there's enough room for Douglas to grow and, um, you know, be a part of this offense because I think he can contribute a lot. But um, with that being said, guys, I don't want to make this video too, too long. Um, I guess I, I pretty much kind of talked about his strength, his strength as, as in being a, a, a receiver that can be explosive and can really help out this New England team because, again, we were dead last and explosive plays, you know, all kinds of yardage plays. I mean, New England, our offense did not look good. And our our offense has to get better because, you know, looking at our defense, I think our defense is going to be close to what it was last year or even better. And the biggest question is, can New England's offense stay on the field? Can we produce numbers? You know, can we, you know, man, last, last year was so frustrating because our defense played phenomenal. And a lot of games, we just didn't take advantage of those games where our defense played stellar. So, um, but offense is the biggest key point. And I think Bill O'Brien is going to revamp this offense and um, take care of a lot of things that New England needs. So with that being said, guys, I wanna just, you know, make this quick video and um, be sure to subscribe. If you're, if you're watching the video right now and you know, you, you stayed on to this point, drop a like, drop a comment. I wanna hear you guys' thoughts and um, I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace.